In this video, we will talk about another super engineering feat in China that shocks the world. Before starting this video, please subscribe to this channel for our future updates. Let's get started. There's been a lot of activity in China recently regarding the construction of incredible mega projects. Still, in this video, you will witness some of the most incredible mega engineering advances from China that you have never seen before. China opens the world's longest sea bridge near Qingdao. The world's longest sea bridge connects China and Japan and has been opened to ordinary traffic. The bridge connects the eastern coastal city of Qingdao with the suburb of Hungdao, which is located in the Jiangsu Bay and spans 42.4 kilometers. The English Channel, which is 32 kilometers wide at its narrowest point, would be easily crossed with the bridge. Previously, the Lake Pontchartrain Causeway in the United States, state of Louisiana, held the world record for being the longest bridge at four kilometers in length. It took four years to construct, and according to state media, the project cost more than 10 billion won. More than 5,200 pillars support the structure of the bridge. Pre-assembled underground tunnel installed in North China. In the Zongnu area of northern China's Hebei province, a pre-assembled long-section large tonnage comprehensive underground tunnel has been totally completed. It is the first of its kind in that it demonstrates how Sean intends to construct an underground tunnel network. The majority of the tunnels will be built using pre-assembled pieces to reduce the time required for installation. The longest freeway tunnel in China's Xinjiang According to the company, tunnel boring machines have gone through the most dangerous and challenging section of the Tian Shan Shangri Tunnel in Xinjiang, northwest China. The 22-kilometer-long expressway tunnel is part of a 1,300-kilometer-long network of new highways. According to current estimates, the tunnel was anticipated to be completed by 2025. Track Lane of China-Russia Cross-Border Railway Bridge A cross-border railway bridge connecting Tongyong City in China with National and Inkoi in Russia has been built with track laying completed. Engineers are finalizing preparations for opening the railway bridge, which will be the first of its sort in the world. New Mega Hydroelectric Dam Water storage at China's second largest hydroelectric dam has begun, setting the path for the barrier to start generating energy shortly. The Bai Hutton Hydropower Station is located on the Jinzhou River, which divides the southern regions of Yunnan and Sichuan. It produces electricity for both provinces. The project will have an electricity generating capacity that will be second only to the world's largest dam in terms of power. The three beautiful dams in China's central Hubei province are a sight to behold. The railway bridge in East Harness Fujian rotates into position. The cable stayed bridge, which weighs 38,000 tons, is being rotated. In around 40 minutes, the 221.3 meter bridge rotated 40 degrees counterclockwise. It is a section of the 277 kilometer long Jail Shaman High Speed Railway, which has a design speed of 350 kilometers per hour and 277 kilometers. The railway will reduce the travel time between Fojo and Shaman to around one hour and 30 minutes. According to the plan, the railway is expected to begin operations later this year. China's highest escalator for high speed rail station rolls off the production line. The world's tallest escalator built for a high-speed rail station in Hangzhou is rolling up the assembly line. A total length of 100 meters is provided and a lifting height of 42 meters. The vertical height of the structure is comparable to that of a 15-story skyscraper. Upon completion, Beijing's battling station, a high-speed rail station beneath the Great Wall, will be the world's deepest high-speed rail station. It will be built on the battling station. The first plateau airport in China's Xinjiang is under construction. 
Tax Corrigan Airport, located at 3,252 meters above sea level on the Palmer Plateau in China's Xinjiang, is expected to be the highest airport in the region when completed in 2022. It includes a 3,000 square meter terminal and four aprons and it is designed to handle 160,000 people and 400 tons of cargo each year. Shishi Bridge The Shishi Bridge is a suspension bridge that spans the border between Defang County and Jiangxi County in Guizhou, China. It is 701 meters in length. The bridge is located on China National Highway 321 between Biji and Guyong and is part of the route. The bridge, which stands 218 meters above the average river level as of 2019, is one of the world's 70 tallest structures, ranking 7th among them. It is possible to see below the bridge because of the reservoir created by the Hongdao Dam and the Linshong River. When the pool is complete, it limits the clearance between the bridge to only 165 meters. Super strong steel cables were used for bridge construction in South China in 1960. The MPA super strength steel cables were used to construct the second bridge for people, which crosses the Media Waterway and connects two cities in Wangdong Province in southern China. China is the only country that has totally created steel wires, which are the strongest. The bridge builder supervises the project using Internet of Things remote communication technologies. China's Haoji Railway The electrified line goes from Ordo City in Inner Mongolia south through the provinces of Shengxi, Chongxi, Hubei, Hunan, Zhengxi, and Xingxi to Xi'an with a total length of around 2,000 kilometers. Taoli Temple and Pingxing are served by a double track segment of the line. The remainder of the line is a single track with the option of laying another way if necessary. The bar has a top speed of 120 km per hour. Because the railway spans both the Yangtze and the Yellow Rivers twice, once known as the Mingshu Railway, the project had several significant obstacles during construction. Aside from that, it crosses through three mountain ranges the Mu'us Desert and the Luz Plateau. There are 770 bridges with a combined length of 381 kilometers and 229 tunnels with a combined distance of 468.5 kilometers. A total of 119 construction methods were created during construction. 165 patents were gained. 60 science and technology awards were given out, and 85 scientific research projects were launched, according to the China State Railway Group. The development of the world's first large section profiled earth pressure balance shield machine took place. According to China Railway Corporation, the Haoji Railway also employs the most up-to-date technologies, including intelligent integrated dispatching intelligent traction, power supply, and intelligent infrastructure operation and maintenance. The project necessitated the creation of a new business model. 16 enterprises served as project sponsors to establish China's largest mixed ownership joint venture railway corporation in 2012, under the leadership of the former Minister of Railways and Local Governments. Since then, the number of stockholders has expanded to 21. According to the Chinese government, the Haoji Railway has 21 terminals and a design capacity of more than 200 million tons per year. Additionally, the railway will be the first north-south railway in China solely dedicated to coal transportation. It will be constructed to avoid existing coal transportation routes that transit through coastal towns by the sea. The line will shorten the trip time from 20 days by sea to just 3 days saving travelers time and money. The cable connects to existing railways at various sites to share maintenance facilities with existing trains. The railway, which would cost 27.2 billion US dollars and be sponsored by China Railway and many significant domestic coal mining corporations, was approved in 2014 at a cost of 27.2 billion. The railway was officially opened on September 28, 2019. What are your thoughts on this video? 
let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe to this channel before you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.